Hi, my name is John Clarkson. I'm a technical writer with the Link Product Group, and in this video, I'll show you how you can use a WPF user control in the Link 2010 SDK to build your own custom Link WPF control. There's no great mystery here. I'll combine two well known components a WPF user control and automation code in the Link 2010 SDK. And as you can see in the slide here, uh, I've broken this down into three steps. First of all, um, create the actual user control itself. Second, how to add that user control to a new WPF application. And third, how to take that new application containing the user control and deploy it to another computer. It may not have occurred to some of you that it's an option to build your own custom link controls. So we decided to go ahead and demonstrate it. So why do you care? Let's say you're a manager or project lead at some company that's running Link Server, and one of your tasks is to organize a weekly project conference with one or more members of a team. And every week you go through a manual task of rounding up and connecting with various members of this team. But it's possible to use the Link client to perform this task of organizing the conference, and it's possible to build a Link conference invite control that more or less automates the whole job for you. We'll demonstrate that here in this demo or in this video. And the control can be created once and then shared across your company with any other manager's leads that have a similar need. Maybe this isn't the greatest example, but think of all the repetitive and common tasks in your company that just cry out for a shareable custom control. The Link development team created something like 20 different controls and added them, added them to the Link 2010 SDK. This list of controls probably only scratches the surface and covers just the most common scenarios. Everybody's organization has different needs and lots of unusual scenarios we never thought of that cry out for more link controls. So go to it. Create your own. Here's how. It's so easy. It's almost fun. So to start off with, you want to create a new application using the WPF user control library application template. You can see here the application I created contains some buttons, a list box, a text box, and a little bit of link code that performs three tasks. It creates a group in the link client, it lists the URIs of the members of that group, and then it sends conference invitations to the URIs that I select in the list box. I won't discuss the code here because this particular scenario really isn't the point. The point is how to build your own custom link WPF control. So you see here the XAML design pane and the code behind file. And you can see I added a reference to the link.model namespace. There's not a lot of link code. And immediately I want to go ahead and drill down to the DLL that you need to distribute when you've got your custom control completed. It's in the bin debug folder. There it is right there. And we'll go ahead right now and add the user control to a new WPF application. I copied the uh, DLL to the second computer here, and I'm going to create a new WPF application. And the first thing I need to do is add that DLL to my application, so I right-click on the toolbox, click Choose Items, and then Browse to the DLL file which I copied from the other computer. And then I click OK and it's added to the toolbox. I drag it onto the design pane, get it centered. Going to build make sure there's no problems with the app. It looks like it's okay. We'll go ahead and run it. There's the application. There's the link client. You can see it does not have any custom groups, so I'm going to add a custom group. And I need to add a couple of contacts to the custom group. And then I'll go ahead and list contacts. See it lists the URIs. I'll select the two that I want. Of course, there are only two. 
and I just noticed that one of them is offline so let me go fix that and I'll come back okay I had to log on to my third desktop and start link on that computer so now all my contacts are online I can go ahead and send invites and there you see it it sent messages to the two contacts I selected inviting them to the conference so the next job is to show you how to export this application containing the new link WPF custom control how to export it to another computer so I'm going to open up my third desktop and you see here in this folder I have copied the exe file from the application we just created and the DLL file from the user control and we'll go ahead and run the exe and immediately you see here oh that didn't work bunch of errors and the problem here the main problem is that this computer doesn't have the link SDK installed so it doesn't have uh, the components that are needed to run the application and the way you get around that of course is to install the runtime so we'll go ahead and install the runtime it'll take about 20 seconds I have the MSI, have the MSI right in this folder and you can get the MSI from the uh, Microsoft downloads page so now it's installed I'll try a second time to run the XE and I get more errors so take a look at these errors and see if you can figure out what the problem is the issue is that the link client isn't running I forgot to start the link client so I'll go ahead and take care of that and after I get the link client running then we should be okay and you see here's the link client so I'll try a third, nine, third time now to run the XE and of course it will work bingo and we'll just go ahead and demonstrate that the functionality is still there I'm gonna add a custom group and I'm gonna add a couple of contacts to the custom group just like before and then I'll list contacts I'll select a couple of contacts to invite to the conference send the invites and bingo there it is there's the mail that was sent out so again you've seen a demonstration here of how to create number one create a, a custom link WPF user control you've seen number two how to use that new user control in a new WPF application and you've seen number three how to deploy that application containing your new WPF user control, how to, how to deploy that application to, a, to another computer. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.